Hey gorgeous, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. If you couldn't tell, if you haven't yet guessed, I left a couple of subtle hints here and there about what this video pertains. Today we are doing a full face of Gucci. I have had requests for this after seeing I'm guessing my love for their bronzer and all the Gucci products that I got during the Sephora VIB sale. I'm pumped. I think I like when I'm really pumped, I'm very like mundane. And that's me right now. I clearly have rearranged a little bit. We are not in my beauty studio. We are in my living room and I have found every fresh flower that I possibly could throughout my home and my Gucci stuff perfumes I, I just I really went all out I really wanted to make this video special because it I mean it's Gucci it deserves it and this is the look that we have come up with it's not glam Gucci does not have falsies maybe one day when doing this video and putting on the makeup and seeing how everything applied and just how well everything meshed together I think I decided and discovered that Gucci products are more about elegance as opposed to the glam, the look at me, the, I mean the price tag screams look at me, but the look on your face is very much a classic, timeless look. I mean you, you can't go wrong with this. So I think the word for Gucci makeup, for Gucci beauty, even the perfumes is elegance. I feel elegant. I think the makeup makes me look elegant. Maybe, I mean, correct me nicely if I'm wrong, but I will stop babbling. I'm so excited for you to see how this plays out. And for those of you who sent me a message or put a comment saying, do it full face of Gucci, here we are. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family. All things happy and positive. And please, please enjoy this video. First, let me just put out there that we are clearly in a different spot in my home. I am using natural light. I think natural light is the best. You guys can see every single nook and cranny on my face. Um, but I also have a studio light that I moved right over there so that way there wouldn't be a shadow cast on this side as well as my beauty mirror which a this mirror is the all-time number one makeup mirror like ever that there ever was and b it senses my movement so it may go on and off and i do apologize about that but i just want to let you know it's mostly natural light but you know what i just said okay so first thing let's go in with the Gucci primer. As you can see, the packaging is beautiful. I will leave little clips of up close shots of the packaging somewhere in the corner on the screen. It is a frosted glass. This is called the Silk Priming Serum, and it is a beautiful, I mean, just luxurious serum. I pumped out too much, but I did want to show you an up close. It has a very serum like feel and also a jelly like feel as well kind of like it's a mixture of the two this primer has a blurring effect it does have a scent if you are watching this because you're thinking about buying it no it does have a scent but it has a very floral scent it's very soft but it is noticeable i think it smells absolutely delicious there is no tackiness to this primer it's just very soft, lightweight, kind of like an, it has an airy feel to it. Not quite like a mousse, but it's very, very lightweight. Yeah, there's no tackiness, but it's, it feels so smooth, like a baby's bottom. So this does minimize your pores. It minimizes the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles. I mean, it's just, this is so luxurious. I am so hyped to be doing this video. So tickled pink. And you guys that requested this video, like, here we are. So exciting. Okay, primer is on. Next step, of course, is the foundation. This is the 
Told you. <laughs> okay, so the foundation, mine is in the shade 240W. Now, I did get this online from the Sephora VIB sale, so I don't know about the color and how well I matched it. We're gonna rock with it no matter what, but if it's off, I'm very sorry. This is a lightweight formula. I even got out my new pink beauty blender. It's not a beauty blender. This is from Haley's Beauty. Uh, I pulled this out because it matches. Well, kind of. Okay, enough. This foundation is medium to full coverage. I'm gonna start with a little bit right there and start at the center and work my way out. If it's not exactly the best shade, then we can share it out. Okay, that, that color's pretty good. Go Holly. Well, I don't wanna to speak too soon. Hold on, let me blend this out. This also has a little bit of smell, a little bit of floral in there. Okay, so you can still see, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Yes, you can see that. There's still redness peeking through on my cheeks, but if you did want that skin-like, we don't, we're not as perfect as this makeup makes us appear type look, I guess you would say casual, but I don't feel like using the word casual in a Gucci video. I, I don't think that goes very well together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let me finish out on this side. And while I blend, maybe just take a second or two and just acknowledge the background. I, I did it myself. I just felt like this video needed to be like special. I know the Holly Lenore sign is special and it's really cool, blah, 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 but Gucci, notice the little perfume, Gucci perfume, Gucci, my little Gucci box right over there. Okay, just check it out. Okay, so I'm for sure getting that medium coverage. And this is just on applying one layer. It still looks really pretty though. It's very soft, very, very much soft, if that makes any sense at all. I'm gonna go in just because it's a video, we're playing around with it, and see what a second coat looks like. Second coat, second layer looks like. So yeah, of course, there's definitely more coverage when you apply that second layer, but it is very skin-like, very natural looking. It has a touch of luminosity to it, and I like that. I know you're not supposed to touch your face, but I just wanna feel how like, baby smooth my skin is right now. Okay, we are up close and personal with the foundation. This is two layers, just for anyone who's keeping track. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. This is a $68 foundation, but the wear on it is, I mean, it's a solid work day. It's a seven to eight hour wear, but that's a pretty solid hold. I mean, that's all day in work days, you know? Okay, so up next, we are now going to set our face with Gucci's setting powder. This is the packaging right here. It's that soft, super light baby pink. Again, this is the shade that I got. This may be a little too dark for me to set it with, but it is beautiful. We're gonna work with it. This one is in the shade 05. So this is a matte formula. I thought I saw a little bit of shimmer in there but I guess not. I haven't tried this yet, but it claims, it claims to be a matte formula, very super lightweight. So I'm just gonna take it and set it around my face. It does come with this little puff in here. Just a pretty standard puff. The only thing special about it is it says Gucci right there. Of course it does. Um, I'm actually gonna take a brush I'm gonna take one with a little bit of density. This is the F12 from Bling Brushes. Boy, if Gucci had brushes. And lashes. We need Gucci lashes. We need Gucci lashes, okay? It does seem really, really lightweight just from It says it's 
ultra thin, so I wouldn't expect you guys to be able to see it on camera. But I'm just gonna press it under my eyes and around my problematic area, which I think is pretty common for everybody that that's the problematic area. Just pressing it into the skin. This has a scent too. Press it into the smile lines. And there. Okay, so this is my skin so far. Seems like we've got everything set. Powder didn't give us any problems. Sometimes powder can cause problems when it doesn't match well with the foundation that you've used. But of course, I mean Gucci on Gucci. It, it certainly should work. We should have no problems, Gucci. Okay, so I went off camera and did my brows. I went in really dark today. Not sure how I feel about it, but it's okay. We're gonna rock it anyways. Next up, we have the Gucci bronzers. I have two. One I absolutely know and love, which is really what got me started on Gucci. This is, which one is it? The 03 shade, and she looks like this. She's absolutely beautiful. She has a stunning like sheen to her, if you will. It's not matte, but it's not full of chunky glitter or it's certainly not like a highlighting bronzer by any means. But what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go in with a crease brush and throw this in my crease. Yes, bronzer in the crease, one of my favorite makeup hacks. And that's what we're gonna use for eyeshadow today. Not doing anything glam. Or nothing too crazy, Gucci is glam. See the pigment there? See how easy that went on and it just blended? I am telling you, and I'm sure if you've been watching me, you're going, oh my gosh, Holly, I know you have said it multiple times, but this bronzer is everything. It is so beautiful. And I like that we're just doing the bronzer in the crease trick because anytime I think of Gucci, I don't, I don't ever think like full glam, crazy lashes, crazy colors. I don't ever think of that. I honestly just think simplicity. I, does that make any sense? Like not that they're simple or basic, just the products speak for themselves, I guess you would say. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure. I, they're certainly not simple or else this background would not be this background. I'd have sat with a white wall, okay? So, eyes are done. I'm leaving it like that, just because it's the, my favorite bronzer. I'm tickled pink about it. Now, the other bronzer that I have is in 02, and it is certainly a darker, more chocolate kind of brown. Same formula, just a different color. Let me show you side by side. You can see how much darker and more chocolatey this brown is than this brown. So I've used this one not many times. This is my newer one. I've learned to dip my brush in very lightly and use it when I want to really sculpt. So that's what we're going to do today. Because it's so dark, I'm still gonna tread lightly and go in with a fluffy brush, nothing too dense. This bronzer has the right amount of sheen, just perfect for summertime. I am telling you, this bronzer, it's like everything. I'm really going light-handed because I can always add, but it's gonna be pretty hard to take away. Do you see the shine? And I'm just gonna keep blending. And we are gonna buff this out because it looks a little heavy now. So I am going to bring this up Okay, so even that was certainly heavy handed, but I'm gonna take this lighter color and this bigger brush, kind of buff everything all together using that lighter bronzer. These bronzers are so skin-like, like they just melt right in, but they're so beautiful. Like, 
so not see, like our skin's not perfect so it's like they just morph so well they blend so beautifully and they leave this gorgeous shine i i just can't say enough about the bronzers they're stunning clearly i could just use them all day i'm gonna dust a little under the lip it's another one of my favorite beauty hacks if you did not know throw a little bit under your lip and your lips look a little pootier poutier pootier poutier because it casts a shadow or it creates a shadow under your lip now we are all bronzed up next thing i'm going to go into sorry I'm, i know it seems like i'm like scattered but this is not my normal place of filming so i do have everything scattered um we're gonna go into the gucci mascara once again, do I even need to say anything about the packaging? I mean, it's just beautiful. On the box, it says that this is lash by lash, buildable volume. So I will get you right up close and personal. Hi, and we will see. Okay, so this is focus, focus. Kind of getting there. Were you serious? Come on. This is what the wand looks like. Very, very thin dense brush the bristles are really close together but they're very very thin so it's looking like we are going to be able to go lash by lash like it says and possibly get some length from this mascara that's normally what wands like this will do let's find out So that's one layer, one coat of the mascara. I'm gonna go in and do the second eye. If you wanted your lashes, but better, see like right there, like does she have mascara on kind of look? You could just barely touch this brush to your lashes and it just makes them very like wispy. Oh my gosh. Okay, nobody panic. Okay, maybe, maybe panic a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. That's better. So now let's carefully go back into this mascara and finish up the eyes. So this is a really nice mascara. I'm definitely getting length and I'm really getting definition. Like I can see lash by lash. It does not look clumpy. It looks very much... Like I have really long, dark lashes. It's beautiful. I, I almost wanna say it kinda of gives, like if this were in the color brown, this would give a very, just your lashes, but better, this would be that mascara. But I got the color black. I don't even know if they have brown. So that's really good for bottom lashes. And also, I am sorry that you're seeing like mostly my hand. But I'm a lefty and my mirror's on my right side. So I didn't think that through. Well, yes, I did because my natural light's coming through here. I needed light on this side. See, I knew. I knew subconsciously how to set this up. So that looks really, really, really nice. And it doesn't look glam, which is where I kind of get not stuck. I mean, I guess I just don't know the thought process of... You know, Gucci, it's very expensive and you look like an upgraded you. I guess you would say like you don't look super glam. This is not Kardashian-esque. This is very much a soft pretty. You see what I'm saying? Like you're paying a lot for, oh, she's pretty. You know, like not like, oh my gosh, you are gorgeous. I mean, this is just how I feel. Yes, girl, you, yeah, you, you're gorgeous. I'm talking about me. It's very much like, oh, you look so just pretty. You look very soft. 
where's the field of wheatgrass you just ran through? That, that's what vibes I'm getting. And all the flowers and stuff behind me don't help. I know that was my own fault. But still, you feel me? I'm probably not making any kind of sense. And y'all can, let me zoom y'all out, up out my face. I'm kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Okay, so the lashes are a moment. I'm actually feeling this. I am not making this my everyday mascara. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm mostly talking to myself right now and not you, but just me because I know how I am. Because I know me, so no, I think maybe I should hide this from me. Okay, next we are going to do the lips. We are going to finish off with the lips. The lip liner is called um, Lip Pencil Crayon Contour. Okay, this is in the shade 01. And it is literally like a pencil. See the wooden on there? I love the fact that you can just sharpen it. I know it's really nice and you know, beauty companies have to get innovative and stuff like that, but I'm good with just a, a sharpener. <laughs> you know, I'm a 90s baby. I will, you best believe in elementary. I stood at that wall just to, just to sharpen my pencil, just to do it, just to get up. <laughs> Okay, so this bad boy is almost the color of my lips, which is okay. I don't want to overline too much just to keep the simplicity look going. Okay, so this isn't as, why do I always want to talk and then try to do it? Why? What is that? So this isn't as creamy and as emollient, I guess you would say, as say the Huda Beauty lip liner that as soon as you put it on, it's like, whoa, like it's so slippery and creamy that it slips. This, you kind of have to work and move to get that color, to get that pigment up, which is okay. I am more comfortable with this because I'm less likely to do the slip up and to mess up my base and have to fix and it's happened to the best of us, you know? So, I actually do really like that. Lip liner's on. Now it's time for lipstick. And this is where I'm like, uh, I don't know. Because the colors that I got don't really, I mean, this is a berry. I guess I could, I guess I could go in with that. It's really gonna pack a punch. It's really gonna kinda, stand out more than I was thinking or hoping. It's got a definitely very purpley undertone to it. And I just don't want like, well, bam lips. And then the other lipstick that I got, it won't look good on me just by itself. It's, it's got gray undertones. And that's honestly why I picked it because it's just such a unique color. I have used this and thrown it on the center of my lips and that has just worked wonders, really toned down my look at the time. So, I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, I guess I'm gonna tread lightly and we're just gonna see. Here goes. So this isn't as purpley as I thought it would be. Yeah, so this is not as purpley as I was assuming it was going to be, but it's still, I wish I would have picked a different color. I'm not saying it doesn't look good, but it's also not like my fave, I guess you would say. What the heck, we're going to, <gasps> my nail accidentally hit that. Do you see that little chip? My nail. Shucks. Okay. So I guess we just put that in the center to tone it down. Cool. Okay, you guys, so I guess that's it for my full face of Gucci Gucci. They don't have a setting spray or I would have incorporated that, of course, right now i would have been doing that but they don't have one maybe one day in the future they will throw us a setting spray and some lashes that'd be really cool that'd be really cool 
and I'm still waiting on a lipstick named Holly because this one has the name Carol in it. So, you know, Christmas time, Holly lipstick, you know, call me. We'll set it up. We'll set it up. Okay, you guys, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. This video was, I'm so happy that I was able to film it. And I just had a lot of fun. I love trying new makeups. I love doing different videos. I got, I had to get creative and create, you know, a different background just cause I wanted, I just wanted to. I wanted this to be a really special video and I'm so happy that you are a part of it with me and that you watched until the end, you precious little just cutie. I could just kiss ya, but I won't. COVID. If you haven't already, I would love, love, love it if you would subscribe and join my beauty YouTube family. We are all things happy and positive, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.